Оля Лукоя by Hans Christian Andersen. Sunday. Good evening, said Оля Лукоя. Хьялмар nodded and ran to turn his great-grandfather's portrait to the wall so that it wouldn't interrupt them as it had the night before. Now, he said, you must tell stories about the five peas who lived in a pod, about the rooster's food track that courted the hen's food track, and about the darny needle who gave herself such airs because she thought she was a sewing needle. That would be too much of a good thing, said Ole Lukoya. You know that I would rather show you things. I shall show you my own brother. He too is named Ole Lukoya, but he comes only once to anyone. When he comes, he takes people for a ride on his horse and tells them stories. He only knows two. One is more beautiful than anyone on earth can imagine, and the other is horrible beyond description. Then Oli Lukoya lifted little Hjalmar up to the window. There, he said, you can see my brother, the other Oli Lukoya. He is also called Death. You can see that he doesn't look nearly as bad as they make him out to be in the picture books, where he's only bones and knuckles. No, his coat is embroidered with silver. It is the magnificent uniform of a hussar and a cloak of black velvet floats behind him and billows over his horse. See how he gallops along. And Hjalmar saw how the other Ole Lukoy rode off on his horse with young folk as well as old people. He took some up before him and some behind, but first he always asked them, what conduct is marked on your report card? They all said, good, but he said, indeed, let me see for myself. Then they had to show him the card. All those who were marked very good or excellent, he put on his horse in front of him and told them a lovely story. But those who were marked below average or bad had to ride behind him and he told them a frightful tale. They shivered and wept and tried to jump down off the horse. But this they couldn't do. They had immediately grown fast to it. Why, death is the most beautiful, Ole Lukoya, Hjalmar exclaimed. I'm not afraid of him. You needn't be, Ole Lukoya told him. Only be sure that you have a good report card. There now, that's instructive. Great-grandfather's portrait muttered. It certainly helps to speak one's mind. He was completely satisfied. You see, that's the story of Ole Lukoya. Tonight he himself can tell you some more.